James. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good Pretty to see you. Jonathan Heath, GQ. Nice little man. Let's sit down. Let's take, let's take to the table. Have a lunch. Look at this. Uh, that looks fantastic. Thanks so much. Now you've got to try it. <coughs> You're going to try it, James. I'll I try ordered it. it. I ordered it. It's um, the, this is the moment <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> There's so much now tension, I so much pressure. Uh, is this right that your your mum is a dad. your dad is a wine merchant? He's been so forty-five should, years. So you should, a, you should have ordered the wine. I should B, know everything. B, you should tell me the top notes and the bottom notes. <laughs> I know nothing. I literally know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing about wine. I can tell you the glass is really nicely designed. It looks great. <laughs> nice colour. Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs> who gave you your first guitar? Who, who was there? Someone in your family that? I mean, it's, everyone knows the Keith Richards story. Is the how he got his first guitar? It was a moment. I, my, it was just like a Saturday afternoon, and we were we were just at home. I was a kid. Like I think I just started like secondary school, so I was 11, and um, he was playing music downstairs. My dad and he played Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, which is Eric Clapton's band in the 70s. It was that moment and that riff. Like it absolutely sort of stole me away, and and, uh, and I I fell in love with it. Ready to order? Well, no, <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. What are you going for? What are you thinking? I, I, I might actually go for um, the entrepot steak. Can I go for the beer braised beef? Yeah. So it's in a pot. Yeah. Great. All right. Mm. I want to know more about guitars. So, um, do where play? do you go? Sorry. Do you play? Um, no. Come on. Are you saying no like you've tried? Because obviously it was something as a young boy, <laughs> I, I dreamt about I dreamt about being you, James. You've stolen my no. dream away and become it. No, I don't mean to do that. That's all right. <laughs> what have you got? Um, I've got a black... Uh... Strat? Yeah, Fender? Strat, yeah. Squire or yeah. Fender? Uh, Fender? Fender. Fender yeah. Strat? Fender, yeah. Great. Fender Strat, yeah. Good choice. I mean, what, you know, when you're writing on your Strat, what's it like? Don't be mean. I'm not being mean, Why come you on. Know? You've written some, come on. No way. Just a couple. No way. Just a couple I can barely, no, you know, I can barely, I can, I can barely do journalism. Let, <laughs> let him, you know, become a, become a rock god. I think you do. Don't right. tease me like that. Because I, I walk right. away from here going, maybe he's right. Maybe James is right. I could do it's, it. I could do it. It's journalism. <laughs> the journalism's working. That's rosé. Very good. How it's is your, how is your, your pot? Okay. No. It's All really right. good. Yeah. It's, it's really good. great. It's I'm good. a big it's fan. That's good. good. It's delicious. Um. Never say never. Okay, questions. I am the judge, jury, and executioner of all this. There's no, you know, meddling here. <laughs> okay, question number one. What's the most rock and roll thing you've ever thrown out of a hotel window? It, it's become, it? two, two answers okay. here. One, it's become the most cliche thing in the world yeah, to do that. That's true. Two, they've tied everything down. <laughs> Kate Moss, Lam Moss, is giving you the wonky eye. That doesn't necessarily sound like the Good. greatest thing. <laughs> Good idea. Or steer clear. What year is it? Oh, very good question. Um, Go on, I could be early, nor early noughties. Sure. <laughs> I'll take that. Have you ever kept your hat on while making love to a beautiful woman? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, you what? No. Why not? Who do you think I am? I mean, okay, sure. Our Men of the Year awards. Yeah. The first time I seen him perform, then it was it was fantastic. And then I was sitting directly behind Mr. Keith Richards. And Ronnie. Right? Together. Exactly, yeah. Same table. What happens when you meet Keith Richards for the first time? We're all worried about what we're gonna do when we're all gone and Keith Richards is yeah. still alive. Yeah, I know, right? But um, you know, Keith is Keith and he's 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 just as important as Ronnie Wood. Yeah. Two of the most important guitar players of the last 40 years. Mm. Both huge inspirations of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean for whatever reason. Pretty obvious reasons. I, I got quite carried away talking to Ronnie. I said, you know, he said, you, I said about the tour. He said, you playing in London? I said, yeah, we're playing Brixton Academy. He said, oh, Brixton Academy, I love Brixton. So it's been so many years. And at this point, I don't know, <laughs> completely without thinking, I, it, I blinked and I'd said, you want to come on stage with us? Wow. And suddenly we're at the gig, sound check. His tech is bringing in his stuff, and it's all happening. Wow. The sort of moment came and we had him on in the encore, so I had to go through the whole set just trying to focus. <laughs> knowing, knowing, knowing that I've got to pull the this gift thing off at that the end. I was about to be unwrapped. And we were doing a tune that the Faces, Ronnie's band before the Stones, that the Faces used to cover. They used to cover an old Motown tune called uh, "I'm Losing You." I said, "This is it. It's called 'I'm Losing You,'" and we and we kicked off into the song. And there's no Ronnie yet. <laughs> there's a reason. 
And I said, I jumped onto the mic. I said, stop. I said, guys, hang on. And the crowd are like, what's going, what's on? going on? I said, stop. I said, I said, I said, if we're going to do this and we're going to do it right, is there any way, and I'm kind of looking left and right on the stage, I said, is there any way we can get Ronnie Wood? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Nicely done a bit of theatrics. Right, you've got to have it. Theatrics, you got, you've got to do it. And then he walks Milk out. That. And I remember seeing my dad, who I've been so excited to, he'd introduced me <laughs> to Ronnie's music like 10 years ago, whatever. It was very cool. That was a good lunch. That was great. Should we, should we rock? Yeah, man. Thank Go you speak. very much. Cool. Nice one. Pleasure. Let's wander. Let's slide out sideways.